From 25 feet away, it doesn't look that bad, but as we get closer, it's going to look a little different. Now this is what we've really got. A lot of weeds and a 10 year old patio that just needs some help. But this video is going to show you how to fix unlevel pavers, restore this patio, and do the whole job yourself step by step, and it's easy, and only cost me $85 to restore this patio and turn it into this. But you can do it yourself if you know how, so watch this video and I'll take you through the whole project. First thing we're going to do is just clear off any furniture or any toys or anything else on the patio that's going to just get in the way of our project. Now that we've got the area cleared off, we get a closer look at the mess we're dealing with. And this isn't just some weeds that you can weed whack away, they're growing right through those cracks, the joints have failed, and lots of pavers need help, and this thing just does not look good, but it's going to change right now. You don't need a lot of tools, but you do need a couple, and this is just a regular pressure washer that's about a thousand psi, it's just an electric unit, along with some safety glasses, because this job is going to get a little messy at the beginning. The goal of using this pressure washer is not to wash the bricks. I'm going to use the pressure washer to blow the old sand out of the joints. And the first thing you need to do is adjust the nozzle on your pressure washer to make a pencil or a sort of laser type stream just like that. And as you see here, what I'm doing is I'm firing that jet along the joint to blast all the sand right out. And this tool makes it very easy. And the goal isn't to stay in one spot for a long time. You just want to move like I'm doing here to clear off each joint. And again, keep those safety glasses on because you are going to get dirt all over you. But this beats sitting there on your hands and knees using a screwdriver or some other sort of tool that would take you forever. Now I like to start in the long joints because I find that's a little bit easier. And now here what I'm doing is I'm going to blast the material out of the space between the pavers on the shorter side. Now the goal here is not to blow every bit of everything out. You just want to blast out that joint and then move on to the next one. You can always go back a second time. You're not looking to stay in a spot for a long time. It's very dirty, but it saves you a lot of time. And when I did this patio, this entire area with the pressure washer took me less than 30 minutes. So it's a very efficient way to do this without using a tool that costs a ton of money. And when you're finished, this is what your patio is going to look like. You'll have all the stones in place, just without the material between them, and this is what you want. Now if you miss some spots, that's fine. The only thing you want to do is, if you've got weeds like me, now take a few minutes to pull them right out. And with the sand gone, you'll find they come right out, and it makes that a lot easier than trying to pull them beforehand. Our next step is to fix any sunk or unlevel pavers. You can use what I'm going to show you here to even replace cracked or broken ones. It's the same technique and it's much easier than you might have ever thought. But if you've got pavers like this, you want to do something about it and it's very straightforward to solve this. You could use a level. I just use this 2x4 as a basic guide to help me level these out. You don't need any special tools to replace pavers, just a rubber mallet and a tool for digging, and if you don't have a special tool like this, just use a flathead screwdriver. First you're going to dig out any material around the pavers that you want to remove. Just clear it out, and then once you have all that material out, you can use the same tool to gently pry up each paver that you want to replace. And once you get these pavers up, you want to tamp or compress down the material that's under the paver. Do this before you even attempt to do any leveling because you want that base to be really solid. So what I like to do is just use the end of my 2x4 and I bang it pretty hard into the material to get it hard and flat so that it's ready for the next step. And here I'm just checking to see how far down these pavers will go and you can see they're about a good half inch too low. So all we need to do is put some material now underneath these pavers to bring them up so that they'll level with the pavers around them. And all I'm doing here is just using the paver itself to also make sure that everything is flat and compacted. And now you can see that that base is nice and flat. So we can add some material to bring the height up. And this bag is just paver base. You can also use masonry sand. These things are available at any home store. Just tell them what you're doing and they'll give you the right material. It's very cheap. This whole bag was I think $4.
Now you want to add some material. You have to kind of guess how much to put in there. If you know you needed about a half inch of material, you might have to put a little more in there because your next step is going to involve using a paver or the end of the two by four to compress that new material down nice and flat and hard so that it can be a good base for the paver. And here that's all I'm doing. I'm using the rubber mallet to try to see if the end result will be level with the other pavers and it's looking pretty good. And here I decided to use the end of the 2x4 to compress that material and then I put the paver in place and there was one more to do and I'm using the same technique so that I end up getting these pavers completely level. And you can see the end result worked out great. Those pavers are no longer at half inch or even an inch below where they need to be. Now we want to spend a few minutes to look at the joints and clean anything that we missed. All that means is just dig out any material that the pressure washer didn't get to. And when you're all done with this part, you just want to let it dry overnight. Because what we need to do after this is to not get a broom, but I recommend using some type of a leaf blower because you can blow all the material out and it'll get a little bit more between those joints that you might have missed. Any kind of leaf blower will do, electric gas, you don't need to use a higher end one like this, a small one will do the job too. But you want to make sure that you blow all the material out even between the joints so that this is what you end up with. A clean looking patio that has nothing between those joints or as little as possible so that we're ready for our next step. Here we're going to apply a product called polymeric sand. This is just sand that has a special binder in it that makes it a little bit more almost like silicone or even a light concrete, but it'll give it a little bit of flex. And we want to pour it down on the patio and then sweep it into all the joints. But take your time, and this can get a little bit dusty, so I recommend wearing a mask, and you'll see that I put one on a little bit later in the video. And I'm just going to brush it with the broom across all these bricks and you're going to notice that there's a lot of sand still left on top. Don't worry about that yet. You just want to brush it into the joints so that it'll fill up completely. I used four containers of the polymeric sand to get complete coverage on this patio. Now these joints are pretty wide so I used a lot of material and the good news is if you buy this at a local store as long as they're unopened you can usually bring them back. So it's better to buy some extra so that you can do your whole patio and not have to stop and start again. Make sure to always read the label for the sand that you buy but most often this is what you'll end up with. Joints that are filled and a big mess of powder all over the top of the bricks. But this is easy to solve and it's going to take us to our next step. A leaf blower is going to be the best tool for this part of the job. You're just going to blow off excess sand and what that means is you want to get everything off the top and about an eighth of an inch down into the joints. This just takes a few minutes and you can already see the patio starting to come through. Next step involves putting water on the patio to activate that polymeric sand. Now always read your label but for the most part these sands require you to put a light coating of water across those joints in the patio to get them to soak in. Now most are going to recommend that you put a coat of water on there, let it absorb, wait a certain amount of time and then water it again. And then once this is done we've just got to let it set up for about 72 hours before we replace our furniture. Here's the finished result. Your patio looks great, the joints are brand new, and you won't have to worry about this thing for years to come. And the best part is you've got a space you can enjoy again, it didn't cost a lot of money, and you didn't need special tools. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment below, and please stay tuned for more videos coming up.